Hi everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass geometry. In this video we're going to go over the tangent and secant theorem, first by looking at the tangent and secant formula, then by going over two different examples to find the missing link. So before we look at our examples, let's first look at our theorem. So we have um, our circle and notice we have a tangent and a secant. So remember a tangent such touches the circle on one point outside the circle and a secant goes right through the circle touching it through two points. So we have our tangent here and our secant over here. So the secant is line AC and the tangent is line AD. So when we look at our formula, what this tells us is that AD squared, so the length of the tangent squared, is equal to so the length of this whole thing is equal to the length of AB, so just, just the first part of our secant, times AC. So AC, notice, represents the entire secant. So that's just like what to keep in mind when we start looking at our samples, um, what each part of our theorem represents. So now that we're more familiar with our theorem, Let's see it in action with our first example. Circle L has tangent BE and secant BG. Given BG equals 9 and AG equals 5, find the value of the length of tangent BE. So first let's write out our theorem. So, so remember it's the tangent, it's always the tangent first, BE squared, which is BE. And we're setting it equal to the first part of our sequent, AB. times the entire value of the sequent BG. So if we look at the value of our tangent, we don't know what it is, and that's what we need to find, right? So we're just gonna leave this the same, or you could label it X. So we have BE squared, and then it, what is the value of AB? So to find that, we, we have the value of the entire length BG, and we have part of the length AG. So we're just going to subtract 9 minus 5, what's left over? 4. So we know that this is 4. So AB is equal to 4 times BG. So now that's the length of the whole secant, which is just 9. And now we just need to calculate this. So 9 times 4 is 36. BE squared. So now to get rid of that square, we're just going to take the square root of both sides and we're left with BE is equal to six, which is our answer. So we can fill that in over here, X or BE is equal to six. So super easy formula, as long as you remember this theorem, you shouldn't have any problems finding the missing link. So let's try another example. Circle O has tangent YS and secant YI. Given YH is 4 and HI is 8, find the value of the length of the tangent YS. So again, we need to find the tangent. This time we're given a little bit of different information, but we can still find the answer to this. To this. So we have tangent YS squared is equal to the first part of the secant YH times the entire secant yi. So we see ys squared, we don't know what that is yet, so we're gonna just leave it ys squared. yh, we see, is four. And then yi, we just need to find by adding these two values together. So when we do that, we'll get 12, right? Eight plus four is 12. So yi is 12. So now we just need to calculate this again, use a little algebra. So four times 12 is 48. Take the square root of both sides. I know this one isn't a perfect square, but we can simplify this radical a little bit, right? So you can, you can play around with numbers in your calculator, or you can realize that this is just gonna be, can be broken up into radical 16 times radical three, which is, we can take the square root of this radical 16, that's a perfect square. So this will just be four radical three. So ys is equal to four radical three. 
and that's our answer. And if you're unsure of how to simplify this and you want to double check your answer, you can always plug this into your calculator. So if you do radical 48, we'll get this 6.928 number. And then if you put in the, the reduced number for radical three, you'll notice we get the same number. So we know that we reduced correctly. So if you're looking for more, check out this video on the intersecting sequence theorem right here. It's really similar to this. Or you could check out my blog, massucks.org for practice questions and more. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Thanks so much for stopping by and happy calculating. Need more practice? Check out mathsucks.org for more questions. Link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating.